this video we're going to derive the Maxwell relationship starting from internal energy. Alright, so Maxwell relations uh, allow you to trace connections between uh, state functions that are not obviously apparent by just looking at the state functions. Alright, so there's uh, a few of these Maxwell relations and we're going to, in the next uh, series of videos, just see four of them. The one from the internal energy, from the enthalpy, Gibbs energy and the Helmholtz energy. And they all kind of uh, are based on the same principle. All right, so I'll explain the principle uh, for this video, and then we'll use that template for the rest of the thermodynamic variables. All right, so the steps are pretty simple. The first step is to identify what the fundamental equation for the thermodynamic variable is. So for the internal energy, in one prior video, we have derived that the fundamental equation looks like this. Uh, differential of U is equal to temperature differential of entropy minus pressure differential of volume. Okay, and what this means is that the state function internal energy okay, has uh, as natural variables the entropy and the volume. Okay, and that is the, a the fundamental equation for this thermodynamic variable because it's just an equation that tells you the sensitivity of the function to the natural va variables entropy and volume. All right, at the same time, if we say that this uh, internal energy state function is a function of these two variables, then we can write the total derivatives doing the following. Right? We can say that the total derivative of uh, the function internal energy, u, this is going to be uh, the sum of the partial derivatives with respect to each of the variables. Right? So we can say that, well, the partial derivative of the function u with respect to the first variable, entropy, at constant volume, differential of s plus the second derivative, sorry, the first derivative of that internal energy with respect to the other uh, variable volume at constant entropy, right, the sum of these two first derivatives is the total derivative. Okay, so this obviously means that uh, this deri the derivative is just the temperature, and this derivative internal energy with respect to volume at constant entropy is the minus pressure. Okay, great, so we're making progress here but we're still not establishing really any relationships that we didn't know. Okay, to do that, uh, what we're actually going to do is, is leverage the fact that uh, the internal energy is a state function. And for a state function, what happens is the following, right? That they are path independent, and that can be uh, tested uh, by uh, uh, testing whether this function has an exact uh, derivative or is an exact differential. And whether the function is an exact differential uh, uh, has to follow the following rule. Right? So you su suppose you have a function of two variables, which is what we have exactly here. Right? So what happens here is that the second derivative of that function with respect to first one of the variables and then another one is the same thing as the second derivative of that function uh, in a different path that is exactly backwards. Right? So first the y and then the x. This happens for exact differentials and it happens for state functions. Those are functions that are not path dependent. It really doesn't matter if you first change x then y or if you first change y then x. Right? The, the way that you connect the initial and the final points, uh, uh, the, the change in the, in the thermodynamic vari variable does not depend on the path. Right? So this is what has to happen. Right? So uh, let's actually then see how uh, this state function path independence applies to what we have right here. All right, so again, our two variables are going to be entropy and volume, and our function is the, the internal energy. Right, so what has to happen is this, right? The second derivative of uh, that internal energy with respect to, let's say, first the entropy and then the volume uh, has to be equal to the second derivative of that internal energy with respect to uh, the uh, same uh, variables but in reverse order. Okay, so these two things have to be the same. Let's try to see if we can come up with each one of them in turn and then make them equal at the end. Okay, so what this means is the following. Look, you have to take the first derivative with respect to volume of the function that is the first derivative of internal energy with respect to entropy at constant volume. Okay, this is exactly the same as this, right? Notice that first you uh, take the first deri derivative with respect to the entropy at the constant volume, and then from that 
you take the first derivative, I will just take the volume at the constant entropy. And that's what we have to do. And for this one, uh, that is that the uh, second variable that we need to take uh, derivative with respect to is entropy, and that has to be done at constant volume. And this is just the first derivative of the internal energy with respect to volume at constant entropy. Okay, so that's uh, uh, that's how these things transcribe. All right, but we actually now have expressions for each one of these first derivatives that we have right there, right? Uh, from this equality of the fundamental equation and the total uh, uh, derivative, right? So notice that uh, this thing that you have right here is simply the temperature, and that thing that you have right here is simply the minus pressure. Okay, so then we can say that the partial derivative with respect to volume of uh, uh, the temperature, okay, of constant entropy, right? This thing is exactly the same that because this uh, uh, first derivative is just the temperature, okay? And for this one, what we're going to have is that uh, this is going to be the partial derivative with respect to entropy, okay, of this and the constant volume, right? So we're closing that constant volume. The question is, what is this? What is that? Well, uh, that first derivative of the internal energy with respect to volume at constant entropy is the minus pressure. Okay, so we have that. But this is exactly the same thing as minus. The first derivative of pressure with respect to the entropy at constant volume. Okay, so this is our Maxwell relation. Right? Notice that these two things have to be, these second derivatives have to be equal to each other because the internal energy is an exact differential and is path independent. Okay, so this allows us to, uh, uh, to, to write the connection between these, these um, uh, variables that was completely unknown before we started, right? So what we can say then is that the partial derivative of the temperature with respect to the volume at constant entropy is going to be equal to minus the first derivative of the pressure with respect to entropy at constant volume. Okay, so that is your first relationship, first macro relationship obtained from the internal energy. All right, so uh, this is interesting, right? Because again, it's, it gives you some connection between uh, variables that we have handled before: temperature, volume, entropy, pressure, entropy, volume, right? Um, uh, that was not apparent, uh, uh, or is not directly apparent. Okay, now uh, how important this is is not uh, uh, directly apparent. Uh, from this derivation, but as we but as we go through the rest of the derivations that we're going to carry out in the next few videos, uh, after we do that, then we will see applications for the usefulness of, the, of these relationships, right? So again, in the next few videos, we're simply just going to derive each one of the Maxwell relations that we're interested interested in, and after that, then we will uh, take a few videos to see applications, interesting applications of uh, these thermodynamic relationships between variables.